Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'll share a few time-saving tips in Odini. So to start with, how about an auto-update switch that you can assign to an hotkey and toggle between manual and auto-update mode. This is extremely handy for more complex scenes and even to open ips that you just want to check a simple setup. So to create this toggle you will need to create a shelf tool with the following code that I found online. Then go to the hotkeys tab and set a global hotkey. In this case I use the combination control plus dot. Very useful in my opinion, let me know your thoughts below. So the other day I came across a video on how to toggle comments in Vex and Python. The only problem I found is that the combination of keys doesn't work on my particular keyboard language and also in the US based keyboards. To change that you can go to the hotkey editor and search for comments and you'll find toggle comment where you can assign an hotkey that works with your keyboard. Now you can toggle comments in one line or multiple lines. Ok, the final tip is on how to automate material creation in Solaris, mainly on how in the world you can create a Karma Material Builder with Python, which already contains all the initial nodes inside. So I found some code online on how to query the script of the shelf tools that we can use in our advantage by passing the correct name, in this case the VOP Karma Material X subnet. And if we execute this code, we indeed get the code snippet to create the material, which comes from the voputilities.py. But if we run this code, we are missing the quarks arguments, so we need to rebuild them somehow. So after some digging in the docs, I found the necessary arguments to pass. In this case, we will need, to, we will need the network editor as viewer and how to place the material. And this is the easiest way to recreate this behavior, otherwise you would need to rebuild all the nodes inside and mask the subnet and so on. So for my patrons I have a triplanner material importer where you can simply select a folder with your textures and it will create all the necessary nodes, connections and expression linking. This is a good resource to learn from, by the way, and if you have any questions, you can always message me in there. So yeah, let me know if you found this worth sharing. Thank you and Happy New Year!